Watch your words. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yes, you. Watch your words. Watch what you're saying. Okay. We're not speaking. We're not speaking death over our life. Anymore. We are not speaking wrong over ourselves. We're not talking to ourselves with sabotaging language. Okay, that's what the Lord says today. Watch your words. The scriptural reference that we are coming from today is Mark 11, 23, which says, For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. And Mark twelve thirty seven, for by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Did Jesus say that I didn't? Amen. So watch your words the kingdom of god is voice activated whatever we want we can get but we have to speak it and then we also have to understand the power of words because the kingdom of god is voice activated and whatever we say shall come to pass i.e mark eleven twenty three 23 and matthew twelve thirty seven whatever you say is going to happen to you you keep calling yourself sick you keep calling yourself broke you keep calling yourself fat you keep calling yourself ugly you keep calling yourself heartbroken you keep calling yourself confused you keep calling yourself in shambles you keep calling yourself um, a liar and a cheater stop <laughs> stop Cut it out. <laughs> Stop now. Stop that now. Okay? You're continuing to get that. Your life will not ever change when you continue to speak over yourself in that way. Amen? Our words are so powerful. And we have to understand how important mindset is because from, um, I, and I know Jesus said it and I should have wrote this scripture down, but he says from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So whatever you're thinking, whatever is in your heart about yourself, that's what comes out and that's what begins to manifest. Um, I was reading this and again, shout out to Prophetess Tiffany Montgomery. I have a few um, spiritual leaders that I follow and Prophetess Tiffany Montgomery is one. Shout out to her. God bless you, Prophetess Tiffany, because the way you've helped my spiritual acumen and intellect grow is it's amazing. But anyhow, I just finished reading this. And if you can read it, um, words by Kenneth E. Hagan, then you need to because it really outlines how um, the tongue, like the power of the tongue and how you can speak life and death. Um, and I believe that anyone who wants more out of their life and knows that they don't have the best language, this is a great little book for you to read and um, to help you refine how you speak just because you'll start to understand the importance of words. But they are, you guys, they're so important. If I wanted, which I do, if I wanted to be a millionaire, a multimillionaire before I was 30, then, and I was looking at my situation and continuing to speak down on my situation, like, oh, I'm, I'm broke and I don't have, and, and my body's not even that nice. And you see, I won't even say it on here because I'm not trying to play. No, we don't play, but y'all get what I'm saying. Um, if I was speaking over my current situation with the negative words, then all I'm going to do is get more of that negativity. And I can tell you that that has happened in my life. There was one, it was 2021. I actually never forget it. 
2021, I had this really nasty mindset, nasty mindset to where I kept saying things like, oh my gosh, it's always something. Something always happens to me. Why do I always keep having to go through stuff? I'm always having something. There's always some problem in my life. Oh, I hate being here. I hate being there. Baby, when I tell you I hated everything around me and something was quite literally always happening to me. That sugar honey iced tea is the truth. Now, when I started changing my mind and changing the way that I saw myself and viewed myself and started saying, um, no, I am an avid entrepreneur. I am a creator uh, who makes extreme influence and I am a beautiful beautifully and wonderfully made woman who knows her worth and who knows exactly where she's going and things don't happen to me things happen for me i bet you things started happening for me i bet you i wasn't or and i haven't been swayed by my circumstances Y'all, I'm not going to go into complete detail, but there's been a lot of sugar honey iced tea that has happened in the last like month and a half in my life. And I'm sitting here sharing the word of God, happy, glowing, feeling well, like, and I know it's because of what I've been speaking over myself. When I feel low, now I do have my times. I go, I sit, I write, I cry. But I spend that time with God so he can remind me of who I am. And I get to speaking over myself. No, I'm a wealthy woman in a broke situation right now. I'm debt free. I feel debt free. I understand debt free. I love debt free. I embrace debt free. Speaking those types of words over yourself, I am capable. I am able. That is what you're going to get. We have to get out of focusing on our current situation and speaking over our current situation because all we're going to do is get more of our current situation. We have to almost like deduct, if you will, and start looking ahead. you got to be able to see into the future on where you want to go. Okay? Um, I'm going to give you guys some affirmations real quick. And we're going to pray and we're going to go. I'm going to keep this one pretty short and pretty simple. I'll try to at least. Huh? Okay. Here are some affirmations for you so that you can start transforming your mind and speak over yourself. All right? I trust God. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I'm perseverant. I will achieve all of my goals. I will exceed all of my goals. I'm healed from heartbreak. I'm delivered from anger. I'm beautifully and wonderfully made. I'm the apple of God's eye. I'm a trendsetter, curse breaker, blessing attainer. I'm free. I wait on God. I'm at peace. I'm content. I'm intelligent. I'm a good steward. I'm kindness. I'm kind. Oh, I'm kindness. I'm generous. I use my gifts. I'm compassionate. I believe in myself. I'm patient and I'm dif disciplined. Now, if you want to really get into it, um, my brother actually just sent this to me and hopefully the, you know, the two religious Christians won't fight me on this, but the I am affirmations are actually activating your root chakra and there are certain affirmations that activate each one. So like, if I remember this correct and, I, and I'll have to like link it or just put the information in the description. But um, I am is for your root. I feel is for your sacral. Um, I do is for your solar plexus. I uh, love is for your heart. I speak is for your throat. Um, I see is for your third eye. And I understand is your crown. Okay, so yeah, that's definitely correct. I understand is your crown. I see is your third eye. I speak is your throat. I love is your heart. I do is your um, solar plexus. I feel is your sacral. And I am is your root. 
So affirm yourself in all of those ways and speak those words over yourself and watch your life come to pass. And please come back to this video after you have mastered your words and please share with me your testimony of what God has done in your life. I'm excited for all of us um, because in this generation, we are not just because the world says what they're going to do and what they are and what they're not. We're not saying that. We're not speaking over our relationships like, oh, I can never find no man out here because all men are. I don't think so, girl. Don't say that, Shagani RST. Do not say that. Don't say that, sir. Do not talk about how all women are this, this, and that. No, 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 no. What do you want your woman to be? Who do you want your man to be? Okay. Don't play them games now. The universe god the kingdom is listening and it's going to give you exactly what you speak amen let's pray and let's go <laughs> god i thank you so much for this day i thank you for these beautiful people i thank you for this time i thank you for your love your grace your grace your grace your grace your grace your understanding and wisdom that you bestow on us that you give us the mercy that you give us oh god every day even when we don't deserve it thank you for your love your love god is so good and it's so amazing thank you for the resources god thank you for this platform this opportunity to speak to your people and to encourage them and to give um to give word and to confirm for many and to enlightened for some i thank you for the ability to do this thank you for sharing these words with me thank you oh god that anybody who is trying to master their speech so that they can activate the kingdom and also activate their gifts and their purpose that this is the word that allows them and helps them do so we really appreciate you god we will never leave you nor forsake you because you haven't left or forsaken us and i thank you father that every single person who watches this video is able to come back with a testimony of what happened when they changed the way they spoke over their situation. Thank you. And I believe that is done in the name of Jesus and by the blood. Amen. Amen. All right. So that's it. Watch your words, bro. Watch your words, sis. Speak only what it is that you want to come to pass because it will, whether you good or bad, it's coming. So focus on the good. Amen. And you will have everything that you desire. I can't wait to show y'all everything that I've been speaking and how it comes into fruition. I'm very excited for that. All right. Well, I'll see y'all later. I won't keep you too long. Love you. Bye.